yeah, we're gonna walk around and I'm gonna show you guys the gardens by the bay. Let's go. Travel channel. I'm Tunitha and I'm currently here in Singapore. I'm at the Gardens by the Bay. I'll be here for the rest of the morning. This is the largest greenhouse in the world, so I had to come. It's a must do when coming to Singapore. Even if you don't actually come inside, you still should like at least visit and walk around the outer area. So after I leave here, I'll be going by the Hawker Center. Not the Hawker Center from Marina Bay but the Hakka Center that I went to last night with the saute. So I want to get a beef saute, chicken saute, since I wasn't able to get any last night. Last night, I, I already ate so much that I was like, I can't eat anymore. And it was also getting very late, it rained, so I wasn't able to go to the river walk. So today, we will be going by the river walk. There are a whole bunch of kids here. Um, they're really cute. They're like wearing their little uniforms and they're holding hands. They have on their masks and stuff. People are watching me while I'm recording this video because I have on, I have my tripod set up. Normally I don't carry my tripod, but lately, like, uh, like yesterday, I carried my tripod, and it actually worked out. It wasn't, it was better than like me trying to hold my phone myself. So but yeah, we're gonna walk around, and I'm gonna show you guys the gardens by the bay. Gardens by the Bay was part of the nation's 2006 plans to improve the city's quality of life. Across 250 acres, the garden serves as a testament to innovative engineering and sustainable gardening practices. The flowers were very beautiful and I really liked that the garden was well maintained. You can see them throughout the day working on the flowers. And yes, I was here during Christmas time. My visit also featured the avatar-like experience of exploring the gardens as if you were in the alien world of Pandora. Wow. <laughs> the expression makes it like 10 times better. being up here because it's so high but this is beautiful the cloud forest is supposed to represent the cloud forests in different countries different cities so this is very nice
should be using like two hands. Wait, I would be 305 centimeters. Oh wow. Uh, <laughs> Obviously, I'm here during Christmas time, and I'm like, my arm is soaked, my legs are soaked. Along with having an umbrella, you also need a puncher when you come to Singapore. All right, let's use the MRT. We have to use the escalator first to get onto the MRT. way too hard and when I left the garden by the bay I was like oh I'm not scared of the rain I'll walk through it and my all my clothes got wet so that's the reason why my clothes were so wet I should just wait it so this time I'm gonna wait and just walk around here prawn soup I saw that she put eggs in it I'm not sure what type of noodles these are and then there's some shrimp and I'm guessing that is a prawn broth I'm not sure let's taste it as you can see I made it I was gonna wait until the rain went away but it was too windy I'm hungry and it's also monsoon season so don't come during monsoon season all right let's try this I thought this was gonna be more of a soup oh crap I like this sauce. 
side of Singapore. What I've experienced so far has been nice, like me going to Gardens by the Bay, that was nice. But I wanted to like go to some fine dining restaurants, like sit down restaurants, but good ones though. Really, really good ones. I don't like bad food. Especially if it's, like the Hawker Center is fine because I paid like $6 for the clay pot chicken. You know, it's $6. But if I spend like, I don't know, $60 on a meal or more, it better be good. If not, I'm gonna be so disappointed. I really like Singapore. I can't say I love it, but I really like Singapore. I can definitely see myself coming back. Okay, let's keep walking. All right, y'all, that is the end of this video. Once I left the Helix Bridge and the mall, I went back to my hotel. And y'all, that is when I found out I was staying in the red light district. I won't show it or like talk about it in this video, but in my next video, I'll be talking about my overall experience in Singapore. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Turn on that notification bell so you'll know when I upload my next video. Shout out to all my subscribers. I appreciate you guys. I'm almost close to a thousand and I'm so happy about that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, bye.